Hey, what's up guys? Well, that time's here for the next upgrade. The motherboard for the Ender 5 Plus. Uh, we got it from Creality. There it is in the package. I'm gonna auto home it so you can hear what the mount sound, I mean the motor sounds like right now. Okay, so you can really hear it here. You can hear that one back there. Okay. Let me get the light switched real quick and then we'll get this changed out. Okay. So there's two different ways you can do this. You could flip the whole machine over. But I really don't feel like doing that right now. So what I'm going to do is there's four bolts on here. Two in the back back here and two in the front up here. Uh, I'm just going to take those out real quick. That's a lot easier. Just unplug your power cord first. Let me slide the machine out just a little bit so I can get back there. So you just take the big Allen wrench that came with the printer. And that fits these screws back here. Another one right there. I'm going to take these front ones out now. You just take the pressure off with your fingers and they just spin right out. They're easy to come out. It's much easier than doing it the other way. Just four little screws. You can flip the whole machine over. I just don't feel like doing that because you really shouldn't flip a 3D printer over. You can make everything get out of whack. This way I don't have to readjust anything up there. It's all the way it was when I got it. This way you can also... Oh, I got a zip tie back there. Let me, let me chop that off. This way you can also just flip this. If you don't have your zip ties everywhere. Let me just unplug that real quick. Now you got your six screws. You got one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, the Allen wrenches that came with the system. It's the uh, third one. It's the third one. Oh, no, it's the fourth one. It's the fourth smallest one. Second one from the smallest. Um, I got some Allen wrenches here to the side. I'm going to use these, though. So it's a two millimeter. Let's take them out. Set them to the side. Anyway, looks like there's a fan right here, so we got to watch out. There's probably a wire going to that fan. Let's pop this up. Let's go up this way. Oh, yeah, so there is a wire. There's a wire going to that fan. And it's plugged in right here. There is some glue on that. I'll try to use the cutters and see if I can cut that glue. Okay. Let me peel that glue off. We're going to set this aside. Here's our new board, SVO-1 silent motherboard. Um, it's the Creality. It's made for Savell, but it works. It's the same board. There we go. You can see it's exactly the same as that board pretty much exactly the same this one's version 2 point version 2.2.1 this one's only version 2.2 .2. and the board's black that board's not black so there is a difference anyway let's move this out of the way what we're going to do is we're going to do one wire at a time so let's go ahead and move the monitor wire out of the way we know where that goes so you got one, two, three, four screws. They all look like they're still two millimeter. They are. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the board out. 
and move it to the side. And then we're going to switch one wire at a time. Anyway, so now you take your screws out. You can move this board right out of the way. These wires just tuck underneath that power supply for the most part. So you can probably just move these. Let's look to the side. Yeah, look at that. They all go right to the side. And you can get that other board all the way up out of the way. I think the board says CR10S on it. So we'll set the new board down in there in the same orientation. And we'll put it back in with the same four screws that came out of it. These boards come with the software pre pre-installed. But if you need to reinstall the software, you can do it. There's other videos out there. You just have to search for adding the bootloader. And you might have to have an adapter that'll hook up to this uh, ICSP, this ICSP um, header. You want to get a flathead that'll fit your your power port real good. You don't want a loose one. Now, let's go ahead and move the wires. They actually got all the wires labeled inside still, which is cool. That's your extruder wire right here. Actually, I think we can go ahead and remove all these because they're all labeled there too. I'm going to go ahead and cut that zip tie so I can do them one at a time. Don't actually snip no wires. Make sure you know how to use some cutters there. What's left is the power wires. Let's do this one first. This is the main power, the 24 volt DC. Like them wires are, wires are tinned. I'm almost tempted on untinning them. Then you just do a little snug, little snug tug on those just to make sure they're all good. I don't like that connection there, but everything seems tight. I'm gonna tuck all these wires back under and make sure they're good like they was. Make sure they're all plugged in. Much better, I clicked in that time. Okay, let's get the SD card out of the old one. Put it back in here. That detent, that detent feels way better than the old one. Nothing in here moved around, nothing's loose. I don't know, there's an SD card right there. I wonder what that's for. I have to find that out. I wonder if you can run something to that and use that for something different. Okay, let me double check the wire connections here. Make sure they're snug. I didn't even touch these, but I'm gonna go ahead and make sure they're good. Okay, everything's good. That was plugged in right there. On the one that says VIN. I don't know what VIN means. I mean, I know what it means. I don't know what it means on this. 
I'm going to risk it and put every screw back in and just assume that it's going to work perfect. And then I'm not going to have to take it back apart and flash firmware on the board. Flipped over there. Let's go ahead and get that uh, stepper motor plug back in. Like I said, you could do this the other way by taking the taking the board, flipping the whole machine over. But I don't know. Personally, I think it's easier. I think it's easier to do it this way. I might leave the back two out for now. Just turn the machine on. I'm gonna do that. Cause I might have to take them back out if I have to do something. As you see, it came right on. It's in Chinese though. If it's in Chinese, you just hit the gear. And right here, switch to English. There you go. Let's go look at the printer info. Get to 1.70.1. And it's Ender 5 Plus. It's got all the measurements right. So the board was, it was already set up like they said. Um, let me go ahead and. Here, let me check the temperature real quick. And let's check the bed temperature too. We'll go ahead and make it 60. And we'll see if they go up. Looks like they're both rising. We're gonna lift the rear up here. Go ahead and put these screws back in. Okay, now, let's turn it on. Let's do um Wow. There's no noise at all. You can hear the Z, but I don't think the Z axis has a silent driver on it. But you don't hear the Z don't move anyway when you're printing. I mean it does, but it don't make noise. Okay, let's go ahead and do leveling now. The leveling on this printer is so slow. <laughs> the springs, man. I want to print something to put in between the springs. I don't like the springs because they're all loose okay let's go to spot two now can't hear it moving i didn't realize i pushed the button okay let's go to three dude it's so quiet Now we just got to change out those fans on the power supply and stuff. Okay, here we go. We got to get the adjust mode up just to get ready, just in case we got to change the conversation. I don't want it to uh, grind into the board, grind into the bed or anything. Okay, so it's it's quite a distance away still, so we're going to go up to 2.6. So 2.6 looks like it's right on. But that means it's going to have bad bed adhesion. So we're going to go to 2.7. Now we're going to 2.75 and see what that looks like. Is it flattening out pretty good? No, it's still stringy. So we're going to go up to 
2.8 is gonna be where it's at. So it looks like 2.8 is where where it's at. God, it's so quiet. I'm gonna turn the speed up on the print to 150. Damn, that was a pretty straightforward cutout. Let's let that uh, finish up and then we'll go. Let's let that finish up and um, we'll roll the time lapse of it. Let it finish up and then we'll finish this video out. <laughs> well, guys, not gonna lie, I missed the print. It was so quiet, I didn't even realize it was done. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we got here. Okay, on the X, it looks like we're at 19 point... 19 19.9? 19.93? 20 if you do the whole thing okay 20 on the X it's 20 on the Z it is 20.2 and on the Y 20.2 so we're doing good okay guys thanks for watching the motherboard install video as you see it was a pretty easy install so don't forget to like the video uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you ain't already subscribed Leave a comment down below if you want to see something particular. Uh, see you the next time. Peace.